Hello, and in today's 5-Minute Friday, we're going to discuss how to allow your clients to clearly define an area that they need mapped. This ensures there are no misunderstandings, and for the example, we're going to use this farm here. So if this farm, Abmer's farm in Wyckoff, asked you to map their property, it's not really clear exactly what they mean. It could be this area here, it could be this area here, it could be the entire farm, including the store over here. So the easiest way to do it is to ask them to provide you with a KML file. So there's lots of software that can create KML files. In this case, I'm going to use Google Earth or Google Earth Pro to be specific because it's free and widely available. You have your client go into Google Earth Pro and they click on this polygon button up here. A window is going to open and they can give this thing a, a name. But what you'll see is that when you're hovering over the, the map, you get this little crosshair thing. So let's assume they didn't actually want the stores and everything. They just want this area ho over here. So they would just literally click on the corners that they need mapped. Um, if they're slightly out of position, they can use the, the finger icon to reposition. And once they're happy with it, they can say OK. Now you've got this thing over here in your places that's called Farm. And it's quite simple. Right click on that and say Save Place As. Change it to KML and then click Save. This is now available in my downloads folder and they can email this to you and you can import this into DroneLink and I'll show you how to do that now. Specifically, I'm going to cover two ways to import KML files. One is where you're importing a KML file directly for the first time and the second one is where you're using a KML file to extend an existing map. So let's get started. We'll start with the straightforward import. So in drone link, click on the create button and then select this import option here. And you'll see it says KML KMZ. Uh, double click on the KML file and it'll give you an option. And we want this to be imported as a map. So we're going to leave that set as map and we're just going to say import. Straight away, we have our map covering this new area and you can do all the usual things like adjust the direction of travel, um, so on and so forth, um, change the speed, change, change the altitude and so on. So that's pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, um, just save it and run it as you normally would. But what about if you're trying to extend an existing um, map? So I'm going to show you that next. So I'm going to open this existing project called Abmas Farm. And what you'll see is if I zoom out, you'll see that we've already covered this area over here where the store is and, and various other pieces. And now we want to cover this second area over here. So the way we do that is we click on the map and we scroll down and then click on import boundary points KML. Click on that, select the farm, open. And what you'll see is it will now reposition that to cover the new area. Um, the advantage to doing that is you keep all of the other settings. So this ensures that if you're extending an existing mission, that all the settings remain the same and that should help with your uh, rendering layer. So I'm going to stop it there. I hope you found that useful. If you did, um, leave a comment and um, I'll be back with another video very soon.